Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create nice little subtle textures that you can use for your website, social media, or any designs that you are putting together online. Now, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward process. We're gonna jump in and do it on Photoshop. Um, I'm gonna show you some sources as to where you can get some good images or textures for free. And um, yeah, let's jump on the computer and uh, let's get started. Okay, so there's three basic sites you can go to to find free textures, and that is pexels.com, unsplash.com and freeimages.com. You can basically head to any of these websites, download an image, doesn't have to be subtle, it can be as uh, full and, in, and bright and vibrant as you want. And you can basically go in, save that image and import it into Photoshop for editing. So I've got a few images set aside, so we're gonna jump into Photoshop and uh, I'll show you exactly how we can get this process started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go up to Photoshop and start a new document by going to File and New. Picking a size that, uh, of the, that you need the texture to be, I'm gonna make this one just uh, like a 1080p, 1920 by 1080, and click Create. And this is where I'm gonna start working on my texture. So what I'm actually gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna choose a color. So let's say I'm looking for a texture that is like a dark, sort of blue type tone. I'm gonna fill the background with that color. Now what I'm gonna do is actually go to File and Place Embedded. And you can see here, I've got a few textures that we can work with. I'm gonna start off with, most of these two are blue, so we're gonna work for one of these. We'll start with this uh, line drawing here. And I'm gonna position it the way I want to on the page. Now, this is not too advanced. All you need to do is basically blend a few, pick a good blending mode or even just an opacity to get it looking the way you want. If you don't want any kind of, uh, don't want to, any sort of blend that's gonna to be too fancy, you can just simply go down to fill and move that back and forward and straight away you've got a subtle blue texture there that you can work with. You can even, after you've found the right opacity for you, you can then go in and play with say color dodge and get more of a brighter effect or color burn to get a darker effect and play with some of the blending modes you have here in Photoshop to see if you get the effect that you like. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, now, another thing we're gonna look at is, uh, so this is one texture. And we can do the same, I can get File, Place Embedded, and I can test out this concrete texture. I could turn this one off, do the same thing, and play around again. So you get a nice subtle blue concrete texture. So that's the, kind of like the first level doing it. It's like I said, this isn't particularly complicated. It's just that uh, I think a lot of people don't realize how easy it is to do this. But let's say we've got something else. So we've got this uh, wood texture here. We blow it up. We play with the opacity and it's kind of blue, but kind of brown. Uh, if you were to actually do a wood texture, I would suggest going to the blue and maybe making it a brown or something like that. So you get like the desired effect that you're after. And you can do that by going to your hue saturation if you want to just simply change the color or you can just simply go to your paint bucket, click another color and paste it in there. And that's if you want just like a subtle brown color. But what happens if we want the wood to be blue for some reason? Or we've got an image that has multiple colors in it. We want it to be that same blue color. Well, all I'm gonna do here, I'm actually going to take the background layer down the bottom here. I'm gonna drag it down to the plus symbol to duplicate it, move it up. And then I'm gonna, under the layer blend, I'm gonna choose color. And you see now it has actually tinted that image the exact color that um, is overlaid. And if I want to dot back a bit, I can still change the opacity a bit so we get a little bit of that brown coming through. But uh, that's essentially how we can do that. It's uh, pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Now the only other little adjustment I'll show you, just for a little bit of flexibility, is to go to File, Place Embedded. And I've got this file here, it's got like some line drawings on it. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Now let's say I'm happy with these and I want them to show up as little line drawings. I'm gonna to go to say screen, dial it back and we've got this subtle sort of art texture here. But we've got a lot of color and then little bits and pieces around there that we don't necessarily want. One thing we can do is go to image, adjust and this is where you would find hue saturation that I mentioned earlier. Or in this case, we're gonna to go to curves. And you can actually, Take, we've got on this particular one, you can see the whites on the right 
and the dark is on the left. Yours might actually look different depending on how it's set up because it can be switched. But I take the dark area here and I just sort of move it towards the white. And if I keep moving it, it slowly cuts out some of the darker bits and pieces. And then if you're still not happy because it's a little bit, uh, it's not quite as crisp and clean as you'd like, you can go to filter, something such as stylize and oil paint. And you can kind of smooth that out. You can move these sliders, the stylization can be moved down or up. And you can see here it's kind of rough, or I can move it up to get a more stylized look. I can change the scale of it. I can make it even cleaner. You can play with these slides until you get something nice and smooth, or you can actually up the bristle detail. You can play with these settings until you get what you like. But I use this a lot just to smooth out images and, uh, and work until I get what I'm happy with. I put that in. Once again, I can take my background copy, which is a color, turn that on and tint it. And we've got a nice little subtle, te uh, like a texture here we can use in the background of a website and uh, move from there. So that's essentially how you can create subtle textures um, that you can pop in the background of you know images and things like that. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. If you have any requests or any comments based on that, uh, let me know. Like I said, it's not a complicated process, but um, yeah, any questions, let me know. We can move from there. So uh, I'm also going to show you another video on how to do this in Canva, which will be coming out soon. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a like. Uh, if you want more information like this, please consider subscribing. It just helps to support the channel, helps me to make more free tutorials like this for you. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you soon.